Good morning, everyone. Mike, Herd360. Going to do a little help video with you today. Uh, this is a, a Spartan GoCam. It's the white flash. You can see uh, how it's clear, and it's got the, the uh, LED flash uh, bulbs in there. And uh, an LED is not really a bulb, but they are... Um, this one emits a real bright white flash and gives you color nighttime pictures and video. Uh, all right, so the problem, and you can see it looks pretty rough after going through pollen season. This one's been in continuous use for a couple years now. Um, and the other day I noticed on the app that it had a uh, firmware update ready for it. And so against my better judgment, I do not like OTA or over-the-air firmware updates because anything and everything can go wrong but when they don't go wrong they're wonderful and and uh, sometimes it's your only option and uh and it really you know you can solve a lot of problems but you could also create more problems so and it, it doesn't matter what brand any any uh brand out there that's able to do ota firmware updates can have that issue if the signal drops out during the the download from the server to the camera um, if your battery is a little weak and your battery drops out I mean there's so many things that can cause it to fail and if it fails it could break your camera so I uh, I did one the other day and it didn't take it it paused out or timed out in the you could see it in the status updates on the um, or not status updates but under the um, uh, well yeah it is under the status update on the app down at the bottom you can see the activity and it showed that it timed out my, now normally my procedure when I do an OTA on a Spartan is I first request to have the firmware or have the uh, SD card formatted just to make sure that it's clear and it's got plenty of space after that format goes through then I will do a firmware update and uh, most of the time they go through but I do have them occasionally that don't so as in this case, I wasn't a hundred percent sure that was a problem, but I was pretty sure because the camera quit working about the same time. So when I got there uh, to the tree, I turned it to set up, no power, no nothing. Um, turned it off, turned it back on. I tried all the normal procedures for uh, trying to get that to, to work. I unplugged the battery. I had it on an external battery. I unplugged the battery. Left it unplugged for a period of time, worked the switch back and forth, SIM card, SD card out, in, nothing, just could not get it to work. Now, what I didn't mention is that I also, prior to going to the camera, I went on Spartan's website and downloaded the only firmware that they had available on their website for this camera. I was a little skeptical about that as well. Probably should have called them first or contacted them because it was listed as an OTA firmware. Anyway, I went ahead, downloaded it to the card, got out there, put the card in, uh, and then tried the manual update process, which is something you would do when your camera won't come on if it's a firmware-related issue. Uh, you just take the SD card, you insert it in the camera with the camera off, and you hold this button right here. You hold the play button. That's your play button. Play back button. You hold that button down, and you turn it to setup, and then it should begin doing its uh, manual update. So that's what we're going to do with this one. We're going to try it. It's a six volt battery, Power Sonic six volt battery. Little plug for my metal covered tube proof power cords that I sell. Wonderful little cables. I, uh, they've been very popular. Keeps the squirrels from chewing on them. And ruining your cable uh, doesn't mean that a big old bear or wild hog or something won't bite it too i mean you, you can only do so much all right so got it plugged in should have power six volt battery never plug a 12 volt battery into a go cam or you will not have a camera anymore all right we're going to hold this down boom should be 
doing its thing. There we go. All right, so it would not do that before with that other firmware. And I had to contact Spartan when I got, to, actually when I was at the camera, I went ahead and sent them an email to support at spartancamera.com. Told them what I was trying, uh, what all I had done, asked if they had any more recommendations. Uh, I got a phone call from them later from uh, Miss Charlene up there. I've known her for years. And uh, she said, yeah, Mike, we that was the OTA. We have a DSP firmware. I'm going to go ahead and email it to you. And you can put it on your card and then do the manual update, and it should work. And as you see, it did. Prior to that, it did not work. It wouldn't come on, wouldn't do anything. And it was because that was an OTA firmware, it was not the correct DSP firmware. So sometimes it's that simple. Just make a phone call or, or an email. Support at SpartanCamera.com. That's, uh, that's where I send a lot of people to. Sometimes they're busy and they can't get to the phones. They got a lot of people calling them all day. Uh, and, and that email really is a, a good way to get in contact with them. So what else we're going to do? See, you got full signal. We're going to go and check camera info and see if it's the correct firmware. Uh, DSP 1125-2019. Um... You know, I can't remember exactly which... The firmware that was on it, I believe, was, was much older than that. Um, I think it was a, an early 2019. I can't remember 100%. But anyway, we're going it, to... It's working now, so we're going to assume it's the right one. Uh, we're going to exit. And something that I also recommend you do is format your camera or format your SD card. After you do this, that clears everything out. Uh, doesn't hurt to go ahead and do a setting default. Now, after doing that setting default, what I would want to do is go into my app and schedule a settings update so that it brings all the settings that I had originally back to the camera. Uh, but anyway, hopefully that'll help some of y'all. Uh, if you've had a if you try to over the air firmware update and it bricked the camera, it's just a matter of getting the correct firmware, putting it on an SD card that's cleared out. Now I formatted that SD card first before I did anything just to make sure there was nothing else on it and then put the, the um, firmware on it. So you'll do that, you'll put it in here, you'll hold your play button down and then turn it to set up. And it should go through that whole process, just like you saw. So, all right. Well, I hope that helps somebody. Mike heard 360 Spartan GoCam firmware update manually because an OTA caused it to brick or not work anymore. Y'all have a good day. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Talk to you later.